Starting with a little background, California has 40 state Senate seats. Half of the Senate is up for re-election in presidential election years, and the other half is up for re-election in midterm years. So this year, 2022, these upcoming midterms, all three of these state Senate districts in and around Kern will be on the ballot. So it's going to be a busy election season here in the Golden Empire. Now, right here behind me, these are the new state Senate districts, again, in and around Kern. So it's the 12th, the 16th, and the 14th. Right down around here is Kern. Right here specifically is Bakersfield. You can see Bakersfield is split into two different districts. So we're going to walk through each one, starting with the 12th. This is the district that shares the most land, or at least the most area of Bakersfield closest to what is currently Senator Shannon Groves district, but there are some drastic changes to this district. Again, includes a significant portion of Bakersfield, but now stretches all the way up to Clovis in the Fresno area. That is very similar to the new 20th Congressional District, which is very close to Kevin McCarthy's current boundaries. And just like that, this is a very red state Senate district. To really understand how drastic these changes are, we need to take a quick look at what Shannon Grove's district has been for the last 10 years before redistricting. So then it included a significant portion of what is mostly rural San Bernardino and didn't stretch nearly up as high as the Fresno area in Clovis. As far as candidates, no one has officially declared for this race yet, but again, it is closest to what Shannon Grove's current district is. Now we're gonna turn to the new 16th district. This is the other district that includes a portion of Bakersfield. There aren't too many changes ge geographically to this district. You can see that it splits down Bakersfield and cuts out mostly East Bakersfield and puts that in this district. That is the portion, the section of the city that leans a little bit more democratic. So overall, this district is more blue, certainly more blue than the 12th district. The senator who represents around this area currently is Melissa Hurtado. Now, she has has announced though that she is running for a different district this year. So that leaves no incumbent in this race. And we already have two candidates who have jumped on that. So we'll go to the candidates. We have Nicole Parra. She has announced a bid for this race. She is a former, former state assembly member. And then we also have a civil rights lawyer, Rob Fuentes, who has announced he is also running for this district. And lastly, we are going to take a look at the new 14th district. Again, just like the 16th, not too many changes geographically. This district is up centered around near Fresno, but where there are significant changes is candidates in this race. So this is the district that Hurtado has said she is going to run for this year. You can see her right over here. That means that she will be up against another incumbent and another Democrat, and that is Ana Cabrero. And she is a former state assembly member and the former mayor of Salinas. So just in the first two weeks of the new year, we've seen significant changes to politics here in the Central Valley. But with the June primaries about six months out, midterm season is just getting started. In studio, Maddie Gannon, 17 News. Maddie.